so welcome back everyone today in this video i will be showing you that how you can enable or disable the virtualization technology on windows 10 and windows 11. now virtualization can be really fruitful for some of the people who want to enjoy the emulator based on android or the linux whereas many people want to disable it because they find that it occupies the high resources while doing gaming or doing high level of video editing so whatever the reason is you can easily enable or disable it from the bios but first you need to find out that whether your virtualization is being enabled or disabled or whether it support your cpu or not for that you need to make a right click on the windows icon then click task manager then from the left hand menu option click on performance on windows 10 you can do it from the top menu option now here on my end you can see the virtualization at the right hand corner and it says enable so my it's been enabled if i want to disable i can disable it and if it's been disabled then i can enable it now in case if virtualization doesn't show up here or it says na then probably your cpu doesn't support the virtualization technology okay so you can find out the information from here only now once you are assured now you will have to start the computer in the bios so that you can change the virtualization status so for that right click on the windows icon then you have to click on settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on windows update and here in the windows update scroll down and click on advanced option again scroll down and in the additional problem you will find the recovery option so click on recovery and here you will find the advanced startup you will have to click on restart now click on it click restart now again and the computer will now be loading up in the advanced options so once you find the advanced option now here you have to click on troubleshoot then click on advanced options and then you have to click on ufi firmware setting that will be directly taking you to the bios so click on it click restart and now wait until the bios screen comes up and now this bios screen can be different depending that what kind of motherboard you are having for intel it can be different for amd it can be different i will be showing you for both of them that how you have to enable the virtualization so if you are using the asus motherboard then you have to come to the advanced section and in the advanced look for cpu configuration and click on it and now under the cpu configuration you have to look for the svm mode that is basically for the virtualization technology so once you get it on my end you can see it's already been enabled because i showed you that it was being enabled in the task manager as well so if you want to disable it then you can click on the drop down and choose it to disable and if you are using an intel pc or laptop then you can find this option by the name virtualization or virtualization technology so on my intel laptop i can come to system configuration and in system configuration you can find the virtualization technology here on my end it's already been enabled but if i want to disable then i can click on the drop down and choose it to either disable or enable so very simple guys from here only you have to select it and then you need to press the f10 key again to save the changes and after that your virtualization will be enabled or disable whatever you have selected so this is the only method guys to enable or disable the virtualization on your windows 10 and windows 11 so that's all guys for today and hopefully you found this information useful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye